let me show you one of my favorite student assignment collection tools. It's called Clip'em Dano. Back in the day, I used to watch Hawaii Five-O with Jack Lord. And at the end of the show, when they finally got the bad guy, he turned to his partner, Daniel Williams, and say, book him, Dano. So this is called Clip and Dano. You'll find it in the Tools and Toys book, which has the table of contents on the back cover. It's located in the section on student number tools. And I highly recommend student numbers. It'll revolutionize your classroom, streamline things like you can't believe. If you're not using student numbers, don't, don't give up on us. In episode eight, I'll show you the same kind of a strategy done without numbers. These actually hung in our classroom vertically. And the only reason we did it that way, as opposed to that way, which does make maybe a bit more sense, we just happened to have this mirror by our door. And I thought the mirror was kind of wasted space. It was like a tall, narrow mirror, and I wanted to use that space. So I ran the nylon cord over the mirror, and then the clothespins were attached to the cord and rested against the mirror. And when I wanted to gather up an assignment, and not all the time, maybe just once, maybe twice a day at the most, I would just say clip them. Now, students would get together in groups because the clothespins are numbered 1 through 6, 7 to 12, 13 to 18, 19 to 24, 25 to 30, and 31 to 36. But they get together in those number groups. They don't sit near each other. This isn't team-based. But students 1 through 6 would get together with their assignment. Five of the students would hand the assignment to a sixth student in that group. And the five students head back to their seat to get ready for the new activity. The student with the assignments would collate them walk over the clips and attach them. At the same time, the other five groups are doing the exact same thing. So this is a very fast, very efficient procedure. And it's a bit of a break for them. It's a state change. They get to interact with some kids they don't sit near. It's kind of fun for them. But now we're all back in our seats. In fact, by week three, they could take care of the whole thing in 45 seconds. Later on, when I walked over there, I could take the assignments down from the top clip to the bottom and end up with a numerical stack of assignments from 1 to 36, which really speeds up grade entry because I use numerical order grade sheets. Speaking of which, if you're using an online grade program, which is alphabetically organized by last name, in episode 9 of the Tools and Toys playlist, I'm going to show you a very cool Excel spreadsheet my brother created that makes online grade entry so much easier. Hey, thanks for watching.